Alright, welcome back to Work Stories with GCP. For this episode, we go back a couple of weeks, this happened quite recently actually, where I had to draw blood from a patient with dementia. Now, I don't know if she had Alzheimer's or not, but it was quite a bad case of dementia. It seemed like every minute or two, she would forget her train of thought. Now, this patient was up there in age, and she had, on top of dementia, a mouth on her and was quite aggressive. Now, naturally, a patient with that type of background has to be put into four-point restraints. For those of you who do not know what four-point restraints are, it's where all four of their limbs are tied down, meaning their wrists and their legs. So they absolutely cannot get out of bed. At least that's the hope. But luckily, she was tied down quite securely, and there was no trouble in that sense. But naturally, a patient with that type of background, you have to approach cautiously and have to be quite respectful. So I walk into the room and, you know, quite politely introduce myself and ask if I could draw some blood. And the patient, what do you think happens? She refuses, obviously, blows me off and throws in a bit or two of some curse words and kindly I try to convince her again if I could draw some blood and she doesn't budge she says the exact same thing and yeah that's the situation but naturally if a patient refuses in that situation you have to kind of convince them and try to find out a way um, how they could let you draw blood and for the second time if they refuse at that point you have to try to um, get the nurse and Tell her about the situation and that you tried to convince her and she wouldn't budge or the patient would not um, let you draw their blood. So you just have to have her try to talk to the patient and maybe the patient will be able to um, let you draw some blood. So what I did was I did get the nurse, I told her about the situation, I told her to come over and try to talk to her and which the nurse did. And still, the patient would not let me draw blood. She said nobody should be able to touch her, nobody's drawing blood, and you know what, everyone needs to leave her alone. So, you know what happened? I had to go back, you know, the nurse said to go, um, come back after about 10-15 minutes, maybe the patient will let me draw some blood later. So I came back after 10 minutes, and I came with a co-worker of mine, and she draws blood as well, and she's been doing this a lot longer than I have she um, <laughs> she held the patient down or actually I held the patient down and she went in to draw some blood as soon as she put on the tourniquet the patient started screaming the patient was yelling to let us go um, or let her go and that she would kill us if she got out of the restraints and naturally it's quite funny because the patient is delusional you know she's not in her right mine it was quite funny and she also said that if she finds out where we live she will find us personally and stab us to death now I'm here thinking laughing to myself actually with my co-worker that this is freaking ridiculous this is <laughs> just freaking hilarious um, and we're just kinda joking around although you shouldn't be joking around in that situation we were just kinda like oh man please don't do that we're sorry you know, it won't happen again, and, you know, it's just a little tactic to calm the patient down and, you know, have her think that she's in control of the situation. So that's what we did. We kind of had fun with it, and at the same time, we're respectful in that sense. But we were finally able to get the blood. She did scream and hesitate and struggle a little bit, but at the end of the day, we were able to get the blood that we needed, and the nurse came in as well and tried to counsel or console her so with that being said that is the end of the story today hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit this is OGCP De Silva and I will see you guys next time I am signing off later